Hello, everyone. It's awesome, awesome to see such a full house here to celebrate Patty and the other two graduates. Um, I'm overcome. Thank you all for being here. So our first graduate ever for Hannah House, Miss Patty Nye. Y'all can see me, I cannot see you. I don't have any contacts, so I'm good. <laughs> I am nervous. I can get up in front of a crowd of people and talk about business plans and all this other kind of stuff, but when I have to talk about myself, I'm nervous, so. I did not go to church as a child. I was not raised in a church. When I did go to church, I was scared to let people know that I didn't go to church, so I quit going. And I went on about my life, had good jobs, thought I was having a good life, and then I started drinking, and I didn't quit. And Due to me having back surgeries, I lost my job. I moved back in with my mom. Then she got real sick, and when she died, I closed the curtains on my life, basically. I did not leave the house, unless it was to go to the liquor store, because I didn't have anything else to do. And I did that for about a year and a half. I got really sick. I was in the hospital for three months. I almost died twice. When they intubated me, I wouldn't let them. I begged God, prayed him to kill me and just take me and just let me die. I was in there for six weeks and it was like that. And I woke up and didn't know how long I had been in there. And then I got mad because I was in so much pain that they couldn't give me the pain medication. And then I prayed again. I guess my story is that I didn't know then, but I do know now. Amen. And I have met some extraordinary people that I know God put these people in my path. Complete stranger bought my mom's house. Could have kicked me to the curb. Didn't. I already had an exit strategy. And it was a bottle of pills and a bottle of vodka. And that was my exit strategy. And he brought Brenda. And I was drunk as a skunk when I met her. Didn't know her. She said, can I pray for you? I said, okay. I love you. And She came to see me one night and asked me, she said, is there some place that I can take you? I was like, what are you trying to do to me? You know? 
And I was like, what are you doing? And, and she brought me to the Hannah house. And I was like, hmm, what am I going to do here? <laughs> Didn't know then, but I do know now. <laughs> Because I tell you, when, I mean, I, I've jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. I've owned two motorcycles. I can get on my bike, go ride wherever, do whatever. But when my mom died and I knew that I was going to be homeless, like I say, that bottle doesn't leave you, doesn't pick on you, it's your friend. You know, and when I first got there, I cried because when I started my Bible studies, I didn't know what a chapter, what a verse. You know, when I used to go to church, I would just be like, okay, where are they getting in the middle? And then I would just sit there. I didn't know. And I got saved in the Hanna house. <laughs> and I mean, just every day, everybody that comes in, I don't care if you brought me a toothbrush. I'm not kidding. You know, when you come home from the hospital and all your stuff is pretty much stolen out of your house and you don't have any power and you sit there for two and a half days, toothbrush is nice. So what Jackie was saying about all y'all that come and volunteer and do just anything, it helps. Amen. <laughs> the littlest things, you know. We. But I will tell you that if you do need help and you feel like you don't know anything and that you're going to look on like you're an idiot or whatever, because that's the way I felt. And I can tell you right now, you got everybody that will help you and they will not treat you like you're an idiot. They pray with you all the time. I didn't even know how to pray. I didn't know I could pray for myself. I know now. <laughs> Y'all better make that phone call. Have somebody help you. If you know somebody, because it will change your life and it will save your life. This is uh, promises about seeking God. O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. In Psalm 63, 1. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. Psalm 27, 4. Amen. And Dogney, I know that I ask a lot of questions. <laughs> and Kelly, I love y'all so much. You just don't know. <sighs> Whew. 
Mm. Without y'all's love and companionship and understanding, I really wouldn't be here. And my sisters that put up with me too. Man, <laughs> I love y'all too. <laughs> I don't really know how I got to say that. Right.